I'm Kainton the Genius and I've been a data scientist for many years and today I'm trying to see how I can make mathematics to be very easy for anyone who wants to be a data scientist or machine learning expert. So I'm doing it in chunks. So every week or every two days I'm going to produce a small chunk of mathematics and if you're able to follow it uh, um, consistently in about a few months, you'll find out that math will be very easy for you to do as it applies to data science and machine learning. The reason is because you actually need some bits of mathematics to be able to uh, continue with data science. So feel free to follow all my math lessons. They are going to be easy, super easy, and also simple to understand. So subscribe to my channel to get updates. So if you want to get weekly updates or uh, by uh, updates every two days you can just click on the subscribe button below this video and subscribe to my channel in that way you kind of brush up your mind uh, your brain uh, in mathematics as it applies to machine learning data science and even for programming so now we are talking about multiplying two matrices i'm doing this because there have been some confusion when you try to multiply two matrices using python so basically if you have some time, go through the procedure for multiplying two matrices, and this is actually how it goes. So the key to multiplying two matrices is that you are multiplying one row, uh, you are multiplying across the first row and down the and down the the column of the second matrix, right? So you are saying a1 times b1, a2 times b3. That is what we have here. And you do the same thing uh, this way and this way as well to get what is in this place. So try to follow it and you understand it. And at the end of the day, what we are going to have here is going to be 5 plus 14 is going to give us 19. And here we have 20, it's 22, 22, right? Here we have, I think it should be 43. And here we'll have 18 plus 24 is going to give us 32. Is it 40, 42, if I'm not mistaken? 42, all right. So let's now do it in Python. I recommend you follow along as I do it in Python. For you to do arithmetic in Python, always keep NumPy handy. NumPy is for uh, manipulating numbers and basic mathematics in Python. We are going to be talking about SimPy later, which is a more powerful module for mathematics. So just go ahead to import NumPy as NP. And each time I import, I like to run so that I have a different cell. And then the next thing we want to do is to create the two matrices. So these matrices are created as NumPy arrays. So just say NumPy array and then specify one, two. Uh, this is for the first array and three, four for the for the second row of the first array. And B is equal to np dot array. So in this case we have five, six. And the second row is going to be seven, eight. Okay, now you can give some space to make it a bit readable for you. So you'll specify in rows. This is the first row, this is the second row of each matrix. So this is how to create matrices in Python. And now I'm going to say A times B, and let's see what we have. So we have these arrays. So you can see that this is not correct, <laughs> as you can see. And that is the problem I want to clarify in this video. So this uh, this gives us element wise element wise multiplication, and that is not what we want. Not how to multiply. So this, in case of this, is, is telling us five times one. So if we go back to this, so the matrices we have on my blackboard, we have one times five, five, two times six, 12, three times seven, 21, and so on. And this is not what we want, as this does not have any much significance in uh, mathematics or in, 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 in matrices. So to be able to get the right answer, you are going to use the dots use 
the dot method. So how to use the dot method? Because this can be a problem for you. You can say you can just say a dot and then specify the second matrix as a parameter. So if you run it at this time, so actually this is 50, uh, not yeah, so this should be this should be 50. Okay, so if I go back here, so this actually should be 50. So I think there might be okay, so five, six, seven, eight, so this is going to be 50. So I made some mistakes, so I'll allow you to figure out where this mistake is coming from. I think four times eight should be 32, not 24. All right, so this is how to multiply two matrices. I'm going to stop here. I'd like to recommend you subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if you have something that is challenging for you. And if this has been informative for you, like this video and also feel free to share it around with your friends. We'll see you in the next lesson.